What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, former six division world champion, 10 time world champion. Oscar De La Hoya, legendary boxer, Hall of Fame boxer, Olympic gold medalist, turned promoter, and CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, was asked about a possible showdown between himself and two-time junior middleweight world champion Jamel Charlo in which Oscar De La Hoya returned his question uh he answered excuse me he answered by saying Jamel Charlo will duck him he says in his comeback they'll duck him he said both Charlos will duck him because they're not looking to fight nobody those guys don't want to fight nobody so Oscar De La Hoya said he's looking for bigger and better options. He said, I want to fight the absolute best, not them, not Jamel. I'm looking to fight the absolute best once I come back and step through that square circle. Well, I have to look at it from this standpoint, Oscar, when Oscar says that. Who is the best at 154? That would be Jamel Charlo right now, right? Uh, he's going into a, to say that he doesn't want to fight anybody, he says that due to the fact that they never wanted to negotiate a fight for the Charlo brothers and his fighter, his ace, four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Saul Canelo Alvarez, right? Those fights never came to fruition. Oscar De La Hoya was never interested in making a fight happen between either Charlo when Canelo Alvarez was campaigning at 54. Oscar De La Hoya wasn't willing to make a fight between the Charlos and Canelo Alvarez. He always he always found the reason, or they, they always found the reason not to make that fight. They wasn't champions, their name wasn't big enough, so on and so forth, right? Uh, at 160, who's the best 160 pound out there? You have to say Jamal Charlo, right? Jamal Charlo is a two division world champion, right? He's currently undefeated and the WBC middleweight world champion. So who's a better uh, middleweight than Jamel Charlo right Jamal Charlo right now because Canelo Alvarez is not even campaigning at 160 he vacated his WBC belt was franchised and elevated in order to not and to maneuver around Jamal Charlo so when he says that he's coming back and he wants to campaign at 160 154 then who's the best option out there he said that if he fights at 154 and tries to get uh, Errol Spence, undefeated two division, uh, excuse me, Errol, undefeated two unified world champion, WBC, IBF. I meant to say two belt holder. And he, he mentioned Terrence Crawford, that he will want to pull him up, undefeated WBO welterweight three division world champion and former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, Terrence Bud Crawford. He said he would want to pull either one of those guys up to 54. But with that said, Oscar De La Hoya is stating that the Charlos are not mega names and they're not the best in the division. Well, like I just, uh, who is better? Demetrius Bubu Andre, better than Jamal, uh, Jamal Charlo? You can argue that. Who's fought the better competition? No doubt, Jamal, Jamal Charlo at 160. Who's better hunt middleweight than Jamal Charlo? Right? You can't name one. Right? Uh, um, then you have 54. You could say Jason Rosario, who's, who's unified. That's who Jamel Charles is fighting. So when Oscar De La Hoya says they don't want to fight anybody, well, guess what? It's Canelo Alvarez that's not looking to fight anybody worth no. Because Jamal Charlo is fighting Sergei Dervianchenko. Jamel Charlo is fighting a unification bout against Jason Rosario, who just stopped and beat uh, J uh, Julian J. Rock Williams for his unified titles, who Julian J. Rock Williams stopped and beat. Uh, well, doesn't stop. Well, he beat uh, Swift Jerry Heard. You understand? Ironically, Jamal Charlo beat J. Rock. So now, uh, uh, Jamal Charles, two-time two uh, uh, junior middleweight world champion. He's fighting Jason Rosario. That's a huge fight. That's a bigger fight than... Uh, uh, any fights that's been announced on Showtime card, in my opinion, is bigger than the Javante Tank Davis Leo Santa Cruz fight, right? Uh, J uh, Jamal Charlo's fighting Sergei Derianchenko, 
who arguably beat Gennady Triple G Golovkin in their last fight. And I don't even want to say arguably. I thought he beat him. And most people, majority of the boxing world pundits and fans thought Sergei Derianchenko beat Gennady Triple G Golovkin in that fight. But he didn't get the nod. And this is who Jamal Charlo's fighting. So I beg to differ. Should Jamel Charlo beat Jason Rosario, he will be the WBA, the IBF, and the WBC junior middleweight world champion. What better fight for Oscar De La Hoya? Seeming, seeing as though they have a storyline, they have a history right now, and there's some tension there. It could sell, right? Now Oscar De La Hoya's comeback. What bigger name are you going to get? Other than Errol Spencer, Terrence Crawford, who you want to pull up to 154, like you did Floyd Mayweather. See, Oscar De La Hoya wants to still claim his A-side status, like he did to Floyd Mayweather, pulling him up to 54, choosing a glove size, choosing a ring size, so on and so forth. See, it's not that type of party anymore for Oscar De La Hoya, and he doesn't realize it. Yeah, he's the he's he will be the draw, I, absolutely. Absolutely, because he's the namesake. So, yeah, he will have the A-side status. But to pull Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence up, it's not worth them going up to fight Oscar De La Hoya at this point in time. Jamal Charlo, after he beat Sergei Derianchenko, fight him. There's tension between Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez. He even went as far as to say now that he'll fight Canelo Alvarez. He'll fight anybody in his comeback. So he says that he's up to... Uh, sparring five, four and five rounds. Once he gets to 12 rounds, he'll know he's ready to go. And then he'll start looking to um, secure an opponent and make an announcement. I think Jamel Charlo is your huckleberry. Make the fight happen. Point blank and period. It's a chance for Oscar De La Hoya, who is a 10-time world champion, who is a 6th division world champion. You beat Jamel Charlo. Now you're 11-time world champion and unified. You said you're coming back at 160, 154, 160. Make it happen. But uh, I think that Jamel Charlo will knock out Oscar De La Hoya. Reflexes are gone. Hasn't uh, uh, His last fight, last time we saw him, he couldn't uh, 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 let his hands go against uh, um, Manny Pacquiao. He got demolished in that fight. And I think that the pressure... And, and uh, uh, um, the strength and the youth of Jamel Charlo be a, a bad day for Oscar De La Hoya. That's why he's saying they don't want to fight him or they're going to avoid him. I'm pretty sure Jamel Charlo, who just came out and stated that if Oscar De La Hoya wants an opportunity and is truly willing to come back, he'd give him the opportunity. He'll fight him in a, in a drop of a dime. So make it happen, Oscar. Let's see it. That will be a mega fight. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Boy Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Boy Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.